Hell, hello, and welcome to the new series I like to call Theme Park Rides News. Now, episode one of Theme Park Rides News, here we go. King the Car has been closed for good. Now, there's been a lot of times where it's just closed for no- unknown reasons, probably because of mechanical errors sometimes, and it reopens again. But this time, it is different. It is gone forever. There is yet no proof if it will be forever or not. Maybe they'll build one at the Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Maybe they'll build yeah, one at Six Flags for Magic that, dude. Mountain. And, yeah, stuff happens. This was one of my favorite coasters as a kid, and I really did not want anything to happen to it because, you know, it's the world's tallest coaster. Who would want that to be closed it down? It's so bad. After this message, uh, I will show you a picture of the King to Cause official Wikipedia article, and you will see that the boxed area is the proof. You will see the closing date here. This is tragic for all roller coaster lovers who talk about roller coasters a lot. There is so much to do with this. And Six Flags, if you see this message, please tell us why you are closing the world's tallest coaster to open a record, a multi-record breaking multi-launch coaster. Okay, that may sound selfish, but the other one also broke a world record. I love how Six Flags is being a jerk and isn't happy with the world record they already have. Anyways, yeah, Six Flags is such a jerk. Yeah, why do they not care about the world record? R.I.P. King of Call, our forever king of coasters. And if you still don't believe me about King Dakar closing, there's even more proof. You can go out and check the official Wikipedia page on Google or any other website you use. That it has Wikipedia on it. Anyways, yeah. R.I.P. King to Ka, our world's tallest coaster.